Gumaga sa inyo lahat. Walang minamahal. Uh, happy Father's Day sa mga father at sa mga grandfather na rin tulad ko. Happy Father's Day. Dahil like Father's Day, may, uh, may kwento ako tungkol sa father. Uh, may tinanong na isang bata uh, na i-define niya what father is. At ang sagot niya ay Father is a person whose wallet contain, contains pictures where previously it contained money. Totoo ba yun? Mga father? Totoo? Partly true. At hindi sa akin uh, true yun kasi uh, hindi ako naglalagay ng ng pera sa wallet sa sa bulsa na lang. Hindi ba na yung mawalang uh, pera sa wallet, basta napunta kay mother. Diba? <laughs> Mahirap napunta sa iba. Tapos mayroon na apat na father na naghihintay sa pag-anganak ng kanilang mga misis. Excited sila. Kaya kaya, lumabas yung nurse, kinausap yung first father. Congratulations! Queens ang anak niyo. Wow! Wow! What a coincidence! Kasi nagkatrabaho ako sa Queen Tower. Okay. Kaya may lumabas yung nurse ng pangalawang father. Sabi mo ang uh, nurse. Congratulations! You have triplets! Wow! Praise God! Kasi nagtatrabaho ako sa 3M. 3M Pizza. At lumabas yung uh, palatlo. Uh, sir, ang anak niyo po ay quadruplets. Quadruplets? Wow! Grabe yan ah! What a coincidence! Kasi, I work for Four Seasons Hotel. <laughs> Tinignan nila yung pang-apat kung excited. Kasi nakamukmuk at nakamukumpuk yung uh, tuli na sa, sa wall. Oh, bakit? Ano yung problema? Eh, kasi nagtatrabaho ako sa 7-Up eh. Nakabahan <laughs> na siya sa dami, di ba? Una pa lang yun ah. <laughs> Uh, yan ang message natin, clearing away the religious fog. Uh, taken from the book by John Eldridge. Ito pa yung part ng series of Beautiful Outlook. Parang uh, last na yata ito sa series. Uh, may mga previous sermons na tayo rito. Let's start with prayer. Abba Father, Jesus, show me who you really are. We pray for the true you. We want the real you. We ask you for you. Father, free us in every way to know Jesus as he really is. Open our eyes to see him. Deliver us from everything false about Jesus and bring us what is true. Deliver us from the spirit of falsehood and everything religious. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Pag uh, nakuha natin ang essence ng uh, prayer na yun, nakuha na rin natin ang summary ng, uh, prayer, ng message na hindi na From the Beautiful Outlaw by John Eldridge. Pinati ko sa tatlo para hindi, hindi nakakalito. The Religious Fog. Malalaman natin kung ano yan. And then the uh, personality of Jesus. And then yung, yung uh, missing essential. Hindi nakalagay sa Bible what it is. Medyo nakatago. Parang natago dahil sa religious part. And uh, we have the test points to distinguish the religious part. 
Kasi muna noon, hanggang sa kasalukuyan, uh, the religious poverty scale is prevailing. No? But then, mayroon na yan, uh, kasi uh, part ito na scheme ni Satan. Hanggang sa ngayon, mayroon yan. Pero ngayon, mas subtle na. Kaya medyo tagot. Punin natin yung verse para mas malino. Another time, Jesus went into the synagogue and a man with a shriveled hand was there. Some of them were looking for a reason to accuse Jesus. So they watched him closely to see if he would, if he would heal, heal him on the Sabbath. Jesus said to the man with the shriveled hand, Stand up in front of everyone. And Jesus asked, then, which is, then Jesus asked them, which is lawful on the Sabbath, to do good or to do evil, to save life or to kill, but they remained silent. He looked at them, he looked at them, he looked around at them in anger and deeply distressed at their stubborn hearts. He said, I He said to the man, stretch out your hand. He stretched it out and his hand was completely restored. Then the Pharisees went out and began to pluck with the Herodians how they might kill Jesus. Lahat yun yung sa sa gospels. Nakaka surprise kasi itong incident na ito parang hindi kapalit kami wala na mga yari yari sa lugar na yun kasi yun ay yung yari sa church, yung yari sa sinagog. Bakit magagalit na gusto si Jesus? Twice lang na. Uh, nagalit si Jesus. Ang uh, one ay yung uh, sa temple. Yung uh, pinalabas niya. Yung mga nandoon dahil nga sa uh, uh, sabi niya, you need to separate ang temple. At yung, ito yung pangalawa. At uh, ang Greek word na nito, ginamit dito, angry, ay uh, ito ang unang unang uh, incident lang na dinestrike si Jesus. Bakit nagalit kaya si Jesus dito? No? Masabi, dahil sa kanilang stubborn hearts. No? Kaya tinanong niya sila, tinanong niya sila dyan, which is lawful on the Sabbath, to do good or to do evil, to save life or to kill but they remain silent. Pagka naliligaw sa babae, pag remain silent, yes, daw yung positive. Pero ito, iba eh, kasi they remain silent. Ibig sabihin, no, kaya napapasa ni Jesus yung kanila. Nagalit siya. Nagalit si Jesus dyan. At hindi lang yun, he was deeply distressed. Bakit kaya? Actually, iyan ang pinapakita dyan ay yung prevailing na religious path noong panahon ni Jesus. At alam natin, alam nyo, yung incident na yan, uh, yan ang nag-lead sa mga Pharisees at Herodians na mag-plot na sila para patayin si Jesus. Kaya alam ni Jesus ganun ka-seryoso biyang religious pag na yan. Sa whole book, yung religious pag ay sinatinatawag na religious haze, religious blaze, uh, religious falsehood, kaya uh, simply religious, or religious legalism. 
Pero uh, starting with his first disciples until today, ang kagustuhan ni Jesus ay we know Jesus intimately as Jesus is as He wants to be known. He wants everyone to have similar closeness that the first disciples experienced when He was physically with them. Pero si Satan Do you think Satan will simply let this intimate relationship with Jesus happen? Satan is too clever. Masyado siyang clever para i-allow yun. Kailangan gagawa siya ng paraan. No? He is master of deception. And uh, the deceiver deceives by means of distortion. Isa yun sa apektado ng religious pag. No? Work ni Satan yan. His favorite tool is to present a distorted Christ. Reading the Gospels without bias or assumption, we would have no trouble coming to believe that religion is the enemy or in the hands of the enemy. Ang mahirap na dyan kasi Jesus' opponents are people who would, uh, who we would consider to be highly passionate in doing religion right. So Gospels, we discover a Jesus who is frequently involved in conflict, and most of which he himself provokes. Siya na po provoke. Isa na ito yung healing on the Sabbath. And in every single one, this clashes with, the, with this clashes is with religious people. Not one hostile encounter involves a pagan. Uh, not until the end, at least, no bullying siya ng mga Roman soldiers. Pero still, yung Roman soldiers, turn over pa rin siya sa religious authorities, di ba? Sabi ni George MacDonald, an old Scottish prophet, as how have we learned Christ? It ought to be shocking that, shocking truth that we may be, we may have learned Him wrong. Possible na yung akala natin eh, pagkakaalam natin yung uh, personality ni Christ ay mali pala. Kula na, if you want to destroy an economy, flood the market with counterfeit, Bills. And similarly, religion can be counterfeited. But uh, consider the evidence. Millions of people who spent years attending church, and yet they don't know God. Their heads are filled with stuff about Jesus, but they don't experience Jesus. Now as the voice on the beach, yung tukoy, yung voice on the beach, nung mamatay si Jesus, nang isda na uli sila Peter, at yun lang sumipot si Jesus doon, kita mo talaga ang closeness ng mga disciples kay Jesus. Si Peter doon, eh, talaga, ano sa Nung makilala niya, it is the Lord. Takbo siya sa lumusong sa putik. Ganon ka-close. Ganon ka-intimate ang relationship ni Jesus sa kanyang mga disciples. Of course, there are noble churches and movements bringing the true Jesus to us. 
but they are the exception, not the rule. At hindi uh, po itong church natin kasama tayo dyan sa exception. The false knowledge of Christ is hard to exorcise. Hindi mo basta-basta mawawala. Kasi, nandiyan, naka, nakaugat siya. At pinoprotektahan ng religion. Religious ang uh, nagmamaniyo ko niya. Religion gives the impression of having Christ but prevents you from uh, experiencing the real thing. Sabi sa 1 John 4, verse 1, ito yung, sabi niya, Dear friends, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirit. Spirits to see whether they are from God because many false prophets have gone out into the world. And this is how you recognize the spirit of God. Every spirit that acknowledges that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God. But every spirit that does not acknowledge Jesus is not from God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist which you have heard is coming and even now is already in the world. At uh, mula noon hanggang ngayon, nandiyan pa yan. Sabi sa John, 1 John 4, 6, This is how we recognize the spirit of truth and the spirit of falsehood. Spirit of truth, siyempre, alam natin yan, Holy Spirit. We have the Holy Spirit, yan ang nagagay. And what is the, the spirit of falsehood? You know, spirit of Antichrist. John laments that many deceivers have infiltrated our world, animated by this spirit of falsehood. The spirit of falsehood is often a very religious spirit. Over the past 2,000 years, it has flooded the church with counterfeit currency. In our time, what might it be? Ano kaya ngayon yan? Meron yan hanggang sa ngayon. Pero very subtle yan. Parang kung hindi mo halata. Yung panahon na yun, ang ginagamit ni Satan, yung mga inquisition. Yung Catholic inquisition. Kung makita ko, kumukontra ka sa church, susunungin ka. During the time of the disciples, dinabong yung mga, ano yun, sila, yung mga disciples of Jesus. Ngayon, bistado na yung mga inquisition, mayroon pang mga witch hunt dyan, sinusunod din sila. Pero ngayon, mas usapal na. Medyo nakatago, pinoprotektahan na yung religion. Kung natalimbawa, yung uh, sabi ng isang pastor, you can know Jesus like you know your friends. He is altogether different from us. Tama ba po yun? Hindi po, kasi si Jesus, Jesus is amidst us, He is with us, He is in us. Nagkakaroon tayo ng close relationship kay Jesus. Intimate. Kasi intimate yung mga first disciples niya, pero tinutwist niya ng religious path. Ini-prevent ni Satan upang hindi tayo magkaroon ng ganyan relationship. At isa yan, Christian Church. Sabihin na eh, si Jesus ay nandun na sa langit dahil na ito na kasal na siya doon. Sige at the right hand of the Father. Pero sabi doon, Jesus seated us in the heavenly realms. Nasa heavenly realms at nandun kasama tayo lagi ni Jesus. common na makakita tayo ng pictures ngayon. Apektado rin ang religious pan. Pictures ni Jesus. Pitura ng bakla. Kaya, anong babae. Wapo-wapo. Kanoon ba talaga ang pitura ni Jesus? Pati mga paintings. Kasama rin ang appearance of Jesus affected by the religious pan. 
Pati mga teaching, affected by religious part, ito yung spiritual uh, legalism. Religious legalism. The truth is, we can know Jesus just as intimately as his first disciples. At uh, maybe more so, Jesus came to be known, and he came to make God known to us. Sabi sa Hebrews 1.1 In the past, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets. And many times in various ways. But in these last days, he has spoken to us by His Son. Nakakausap natin siya ngayon, si Jesus, whom He appointed heir of all things, and to whom also He made the universe. The Son is the radiance of God's glory and the exact representation of His being, sustaining all things by His power to work. After He had provided purification for sins, He sat down on the right hand of the Majesty in heaven. Jesus came to reveal God to us, an intimate encounter with Jesus. This is the most transforming experience of human experience. At uh, yan ang kipigilan ni Jesus. Next, uh, today we can experience Him tulad ng kanyang mga disciples. God says that we can enjoy the same friendship with Jesus that He knew for this Jesus came. Personality of Jesus, yung Missing essential, sinasabi. The missing essential, Jesus' personality. Now, let us uh, see how the religious fog, fog has presented a distorted Jesus. Religion gives the impression of having Christ, but prevents us from experiencing the real thing. To see how we can know Jesus more as a person, know his remarkable personality. What is missing in our gospel reading and in our attempts to read what Jesus is saying and doing in our lives, right now, is his personality. Kaya kailangan i-clear natin yung religious path to see to see Jesus more clearly. Now let's see if we can find uh, Jesus in the gospel. If we gather and uh, read books about Jesus, most probably, uh, ang mga words na nagde-describe lang sa kanya na makikita mo, usually, loving and compassionate. Merciful, yung mga kanya beautiful qualities, certainly, na totoo kay Jesus niya. Pero, marami pa siyang mga personalities eh, na nakatago. What about the following? Hindi pa natin napabasa na playful pala si Jesus, na cunning siya, fierce. Meron siyang fierce intention. Kung sabi ni Peter, Lord, hindi bang yayari sa'yo yan? Ano sabi ni Peter? Puprotektahan kita. Lord, sabi ni Jesus, Get behind me, Satan. Alam niya ang intention niya. Fierce intention. Walang makakahaglaw sa intent niya. Impatient with all that. That's religious. Kaya alam natin yan sa religious makakaing kwento para si Jesus. Sa pagan, hindi. He is extravagantly generous. 
Remember, Tana, kung ano ilang variles ng wine ang ginawa niya ron. He's kind, natin niya, disruptively honest. Honest siya, hindi niya itatago. Eh, tayo siguro, halimbawa ang kaibigan natin, hindi natin sasabihin yung kapintasan niya eh. Halimbawa, magiging tactful tayo. Pero siya, walang, walang ano, walang no holds barred kasabihin niya kung ano yung nasa puso. Creative siya. Irreverent, scandalous freedom. Wala siyang yung scandalous freedom. Uh, minsan, na-invite siya ng isang parisi sa bahay. Na-invite for dinner. At uh, napansin ng parisi na hindi siya nag-ugas ng kamay. At uh, sabi ng parisi sa isip niya, hindi siya nag-ugas ng kamay itong tao ito. Kaya nabasa siyempre ni Jesus yung sa isip niya. Tapos doon sinabi niya, You Pharisees! Sabi niya, kung gusto niya linisin yung, yung uh, labas ng kap, pero ang loob eh, na dumi. Kung halimbawa na invite ka halimbawa ng isang mataas na, na tao ng dinner pa sa bahay niya, uh, sasabihin mo ba yung gano'n? Pero si Jesus, oh, kung ano yung nasa isip niya, yun ang sasabihin niya. Funny, funny si Jesus. Kung sa beach, kunyari, o oh, ano, may huli ba kayo dyan? Ah, wala kami huli. Ang ihulong niyo doon sa kapila, ay yung pampagi na gano'n na, ihulong niyo sa kapila. Ay parang nandun pa rin yung, ano, di ba? Pagpanis siya at kayo sa road to Pineos. At kung kunyari siya, minigiro niya yung mga dalawang disciples. Uh, na kunyari, o oh, sige ha, tutuloy na ako. Pero gusto niya, gusto niya sumama sa kanila. Palabiro si Jesus eh. Palabiro. Yan ang pinaka-favorite kong ano, personality ni Jesus. Let us read let us read the customs taking into consideration the personalities of Jesus. Hindi lang yung compassionate or loving. Let's experience him in the customs as more human. Too much heaven stuff pushes Jesus away. His humanity brings him near again. Jesus is the most human human being who ever lived. Let's experience him in the Gospels as more human. Isang uh, example ng uh, personality, kung nagbabasa tayo ng, uh, ng text, no? nagbabasa ka ng Bible, kung saan, sa email o kaya texting natin, we get into a lot of trouble. Kasi yung intent natin na sinabi sa text, we intended to be playful, di ba? Nagbibiro ka. Pero yung leader pala, interpreted leader is as harsh. Parang gano'n, di ba? Nangyari na ba sa inyo yun? Ano ang uh, problema doon? Kasi yung text ay wala yung tone of our voice. Okay? Di ba yung, uh, ano eh, kompleto eh. O kaya, expression on our face. Pag bibiro ka, siyempre makikita nung binibiro mo na medyo nakangiti ka. O meron kang suppressed smile, ganyan. Kaya pagka ganun, uh, pag-interpret at uh, na-misinterpret, a vacuum is created. Parang may kulang, may bagay. The text becomes parang kahit two-dimensional lang. It lacks, ano ang lacking doon? It lacks personality. Uh, may example tayo, halimbawa, uh, may magtitita kayo ng friend mo sa trinoma. 
Tapos nandung ka na, wala pa siya. 30 minutes, wala pa siya. Sa oras, wala pa siya. Kung pala, nasira yung MRT. Siyempre, hindi mo alam. Ngayon, itetext mo siya ngayon. Uh, ano ang itetext mo? Uh, nasaan ka na? O kaya, itong pangalaw, nasaan ka na? Ito, maganda. Nasaan ka na? Ngayon, maganda yung mga smiley. Nakatapapag-add ka ng personality, di ba? Sa message mo. Ito naman, yung text for, nasaan ka na, malalaman niya, naku, nagagalit na sa sakto. Yung text for, maganda, o, nakangiti na siya, may love pa. Eh, pagdating ng friend mo, alam na niya kaagad na, ah, ano, hindi siya may stress, di ba? Hindi siya galit sa akin. Yung mga ganong bagay. Ma mabibigyan natin ang, ang text. O kaya ang material na binabasa natin kung may personality. Yan. What distinguishes a good novel from a telephone directory? Ano? It is personality, di ba? Both are filled with words but only one is worth reading. Pagpasa ka nga ng telephone director, yung pag-iit ang ayunin. Bakit kaya? Kaya, without Jesus, nagbabasa tayo ng Bible, the gospel, hindi natin alam ang tone ng voice ni Jesus, di ba? Tone ng voice, yung eye expression niya, or you think lift of an eyebrow and you may makikita mo na kung bibiro si Jesus suppressed smile maraming mga misinterpret natin ang gospel sorry reading the gospels without the personality of Jesus It's like watching TV without sound. Like there no pa sound. We get very dry, two-dimensional person doing strange, mysterious things. So, example tayo rito. Ito maganda example tayo. Yeah. A candlelight woman who had from that vicinity came to him crying out, Lord, son of David, have mercy on me. My daughter is demon-possessed, suffering terribly. Jesus did not answer a word. So his disciples came to him and urged him, send her away, for she keeps crying out after us. He named his You know, and they nagreaksin Dios si Jesus. He answered, ito sagot niya sa buwan ito. I was sent only to the lost sheep of Israel. The woman came and knelt before him. Lord, help me, she said. He replied, it is not right to take the children's bread and toss it to the dogs. The widow woman, yes, it is, Lord, she said, but even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from the master's table. Then Jesus said to her, Hold on, you have great faith. Your request is granted. And her daughter, and her daughter was healed at that moment. Oh, kung walang, hindi mo nalagyan ng personality yan, ang uh, magiging lakas niya na ay harsh si Jesus, di ba? Kaya na mga matatanim sa iyo. Sana yun. Ito. Ay. Ito. 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 
Hindi ka alibawa ng playful. Disruptively honest. Tama yun. Honest siya. Kaya ganyan ang tingin ng mga Jew sa mga Samaritan. Sama na rin siguro dyan yung paan, pagiging paani niya. Bakit? Harsh is unlikely because Jesus came to save, not to destroy. Diba? He came to save, not to destroy. At uh, may kita natin sa bandang huli, grinal na yung uh, request ng human. At yung woman naman, kung na-offend siya nung kay Jesus, hindi na siya mag- hindi na niya ipipilit tingin ko ha. At pero yung, yung woman dito, parang kululit-tinulit pa niya si Jesus. At parang nakipagbiroan. O kaya maaaring sabi ni Jesus dyan eh, sabi ni Jesus eh, I was not sent for hindi ko makita yung ano. It is not right to take the children's bread and toss it to the dogs. Sumasin niyo natin na si Jesus with prayer nyo palabiro at medyo nakalitipa. Parang binibiro niya yung woman. Kasi yung woman niya, kaya ito nag-respond. Kaya nag-respond siya ng nakikipag-dewaan. Kaya may exchange na ang ano dyan eh. Conversation. Biniro niya yung woman noong una. Dati dati eh, pagka nabasa natin yan, ano yung masyado harsh si Jesus nito. Pero iba ang lalabasan kung lalagyan natin ng uh, ipoconsider natin yung personality ni Jesus. Think of the people you have most loved and trusted. Why did you love and trust them? Was it because of one quality? <clears throat> Or was it the endearing combination of all the qualities that made them who they were? Personality is what made someone someone and not everyone or anyone. Important to you know, personality. <laughs> Can we love Abraham Lincoln or Jose Rizal like your best friend? Hindi po, di ba? You may admire uh, historic figures but you cannot love them because you don't know them. They are far too removed from your personal experience to sustain a true love. We love our friends, family, lovers, even our pets because of their personality. In the case of Jesus, when we lose his personality, we lose him. When we are misled with the real personality of Jesus, it will be hard for us to have true love with Him and to have an intimate relationship with Him. Ito na tayo sa last point, last part. This points to distinguish when religious power is operating in church.
Mabilis na lang ito. Mabilis na lang. Dito kasi ma makikita natin kung nasa yung church natin na <coughs> magbasahin na lang natin yan. False reverence replaces love in Jesus. Kikita natin yung mga churches karakteristik lang. Churches ngayon yan. Love in Jesus is considered optional. optional. Very common. The question is Is loving Jesus the thing that is given most perfect time? O sa atin, sa gano'n tayo dyan, ito lang ng uh, series na ito eh. But marami ito, di ba? Or most of the people here in love with Jesus. Number two, knowing about God substitutes for knowing God. Teaching is exalted. Church feels like a seminar. Good content is what matters. Doctrine is fiercely defended. Yeah, kasama na si Kapitan Yung siguro. Kasama na yung IMC Church feels like saying, you know, we hope that we miss. Question, are the leaders close friends of God? People who actually know and experience Jesus and helping the members to know and experience Him. Our displays are confused for speaking to us in Christ. This can be hard to expose as religious because at least miracles are happening. Now, by Jesus healed ten guys of leprosy, only one came back to the angel. Because I have a miracle, I have a miracle, I receive a automatic healing. You will pay me love, Jesus. Do people chase the next miracle or do they chase Jesus? Yeah, sama na dyan ang Pentecostal siguro. Ang nag-iing o kukans dyan yun, tapos pag-ibuhay. Sama na siguro ang Catholic yan kasi parang sa kanila, may makita silang dugo dito sa mata ng istato eh. Oh, miracle! Religious activities confused with commitment to Christ. Religious activity is confused with intimacy with Christ. Jehovah, I am seen. Mormon, we just get very defensive about church. To question the centrality of church functions places the questioner outside of the faith. WCG Christian service substitutes for friendship with Christ. So you know, important is your service. Nagiging, uh, nagiging priority yung service na. Kaya dito lang, nakalagay dito, Martha, Martha, loving Jesus comes first. Out of this will flow whatever work He has to do for us. Minsan, nalilibutan na sa dami ng mga activities or something dyan, ay parang yun na, yun na ang pinagkakabalahan natin. Over time, work, itself takes precedence on the love of Jesus. Who is the hero? Who is praised? 
Katapos sa libawa, may nagawa si Rick na maganda. Here is Rick. He really knows Jesus. So, sasabihin kay Rick, eh. Here is Rick. He serves the poor in India. Yung mga ganong bagay ba? Sino ang na-praise doon? So, it is si Rick. <laughs> the holiness of God is taught, making him a new woman or an approachable. Ito yung uh, sa, sabi ng pastor na hindi natin natin hindi knowable si Jesus ang approach ito. Nasa langit siya. Mystery. So high and lifted, we cannot possibly give friends. I thought maybe intellectual or philosophical. Does Jesus talk like this? There are mysteries that Jesus came to make God known. Does the effect of it obscure the humanity of Jesus? Does God sound as near and clear as He came in the Incarnation? Holiness is substituted with rule keeping. Yeah, maka hindi tayo dito tayo. Rule keeping tayo dati. Expert ang parisis diyan. At ganyan din tayo mo. Hindi nyo mga surprises into love. Holiness. Technical righteousness. Legalism. Legalism bred judgmental attitude. Dapat perfect tayo sa pag-observe ng sabah. Pagka mayroong nag-late sa sapat, isinasara na yung pinto. <laughs> Legalism, pretense. We pretended to be perfect to obey the law because we did not want to be judged. Ang sasabihin ng ibang tao, ito ang sasabihin ng ibang tao. Is the distinction between, between letter and spirit made clear in church setting? Ginagawa sa akin ito, di ba? Is the scandalous freedom of Jesus explained that the ceremony of Pastor Peter? Or doon sa distinction ng letter and the spirit, sa mga, lalo sa mga driver, may example ako dyan eh. Dito sa mga East Avenue, meron dyan traffic light na uh, tapat siya ng heart center. Ngayon, kung ma-stop ka dyan, tagal-tagal. Pagkatalang ang uh, purpose nyo sa pedestrian na. Diba? Kaya ano ba, ginabi ka na. Nakailaw pa rin eh. Itong matutuwan ka ng baril doon. Diba? O ang tanong eh, ah, pwede ka bang mag-go sa red ngayon? Kasi wala namang tao. O red. Ipipreak ko ba yung ulog dito? Ang uh, sagot doon, ano ang purpose ng red light? To, ang intent niya ay to protect lives and property, di ba? Nakita mo naman na walang dumadaan. So, so, ginawa mo yung part mo na naging maingat ka, dahan-dahan kang nag-go kahit red. Did you break the law? no na ng gobyerno dahil lumusok ka doon sa red line. At sa akin lang ha, hindi kasi you did the intent of the law. Sigurado mo na wala kang masasagasaan, di ba? Wala kang masasagasaan. Gano'n na ang opinion mo yan. False humility is honored to your last spiritual posturing, appearing to be holy in public. Yung mga siguro dyan, kasama dyan yung mga yung mga lakad ng anuhin sa simbahan, mga ganun. Pero ang may pukumpir natin dyan kay Peter after renouncing Jesus two times, yung humility na yun. Ano ba? Application. Tawag natin ka nilimutan, Jesus accepts us for who we are just as He accepted Levi, sinful tax collector, 
and his friends. Starting with first disciples up until today, knowing Jesus intimately is what Jesus wants. He wants everyone to have similar closeness that the first disciples experienced when he was physically with them. Beware of the distorted Jesus, as presented by the religious part. Pinalanin natin ang tunay na Jesus. So, alam, alam natin na si Jesus hindi lang siya holy, compassionate, loving, tulad lang nababasa natin sa maraming books. I-consider din natin ito yung ibang human personalities niya. At magiging mas malinaw. When we lose his personality, we lose him. When we are misled with the real personality of Jesus, it will be hard for us to have true love with him, to have an intimate relationship with him. 